were pretty close. But you guys did a fantastic job all season, and you deserved it. So this is for you and to my family. Thank you for all. We are world champions! World champions! When you start your career at eight years old, um, and you've been racing for 21 years, racing is your life, and it has to be, and I realized that very early in my Formula One career that you, you can't just go and drive the car on the weekends and hope for the best. And now Sebastian Vettel wins in Abu Dhabi to be driver's champion for 2010. It's a double for Red Bull. Well, we know what from, a season. We know from 2008, don't count on it just yet until everybody goes over the line. It's in the car, the line is sturdy. Well, he's crossed the line in fifth. Petrov now coming across for sixth place. There is a checkered flag. Alonso going for it. And they've done it. The After a sensational drive from 14th on the grid. The team and his supporters were ecstatic in celebration as Jensen, wide-eyed, savoured his first Grand Prix victory. What a day, you know, it's been amazing. The weather conditions have made the race very, very difficult. So, gets its moment in the sun. Sebastian Vettel is a Grand Prix winner for the first time. He's the youngest ever, and that's one of the greatest things I've ever seen in Grand Prix racing. New winner in Formula One. Pole position at the German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring, and now it's going to be victory for Mark Webber. His first in Formula One. Mark Webber is a winner at last in Formula One. Very well deserved, and their popular victory of that. There is no. crashed heavily and brought out the safety car. The Red Bulls and Barrichello just scraped in for the 20th time in his career with Rosberg second and Hamilton third. Unbelievably, it was Renault's first win since Japan to... goes past or through Felipe Massa, his Ferrari teammate, and into the lead in Hockenheim. OK, mate, good luck. And it's lights out, and away we go for one more time in 2012. Great start from Hamilton. What a start from Massa, already ahead of the two Red Bulls. Fernando Alonso goes around the outside of Sebastian Vettel. Uh, oh, oh it's, it's a Red Bull. It's a Red Bull, Sebastian Vettel in the middle of the track. It's the worst possible scenario for Sebastian Vettel, who 
started on the second row. Mark Webber's getting a great zone now. Up the main straight we go. Massa from Webber. And Webber pulls out onto the right-hand side. And he might be about to make a move. And here goes Fernando Alonso down the inside. And Alonso has put himself up into the podium positions by the end of the first lap. And it is Alonso's game. And that's put Hulkenberg onto it. Might well be an easy pass down the outside. Jen's going to have to get a frame on the brakes. Chooses not to do so. Hulkenberg takes the lead. Unbelievable. For the first time in his Grand Prix career, Nico Hulkenberg now leads a Grand Prix through here. And back up into the on the touch. And Hamilton and Hulkenberg Damage. come together. Damage for Damp Drizzle comes down. Oh, he's got oh, squirrel. Oh, he's made a miraculous save to keep that car on the road. Massa third, and we look out now. The man who's once, who's twice, and is three times a world champion. It is Sebastian Vettel for Red Bull. Three constructors' titles in a row. Three drivers' championships in a row. It's trebles all round for Red Bull. 2008 Formula One World Championship will be decided here, right here, right now. Mass on the left. Trulli on the right. Look out for Hamilton on the pit wall side. It's a cautious getaway from Hamilton. He's running down. Raikkonen is in front of him. And you can see that Alonso has not been able to make ground on him. Vettel isn't going to take any chances. Kovalainen and Nurse made his teammate through. And then championship. Hamilton's got a bunch of traffic in head, ahead of him. He's, he's unlapped He's himself. a lap down. He's unlapping himself. He would argue he's entitled to do that. Hamilton lets him through. So uh, he's got ground. Oh, Hamilton's on lost it. Oh, my goodness me. Vettel's taking the place. And that could cost Hamilton the world championship. Oh, it's raining, now raining hard. And that means Clock is going to be in Massa. Any time now he comes through to claim his sixth victory of the season. He has done everything he needed to do. And we wait now to find out who will be the world champion of 2008. Can Hamilton do anything? And, and is that Glock? Is that Glock going slowly? It is That's Glock. Glock. Oh my goodness me. Hamilton's back in position again. A million, a hundred thousand local hearts sink in the grandstands. It's handed the place back to Hamilton. He comes through and a fight. You're absolutely right. I'm sure that he is going to claim fifth place which is all he needs to do to become yes. the 2008 Formula One world champion, Lewis Hamilton. And you are going to do that, but anyway, thank you. Hats off to Felipe Massa. That is sporting dignity. He deserved it just as much as Hamilton did. There's no question as you see him oh, on the other car is touch. That is uh, side of Alonso. Alonso didn't want to yield and uh, contact. Well, That's Jensen's second contact. Next line, and surely he's got a great chance of coasting past what Schumacher's looking in his mirror. Button goes the long way round. Is he ahead of him? Yes, he is. Button up into second place. This race is not over. I think Vettel's got wide. Yeah, he's got wide. He turned in too late. He got the tyres. Button leads the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel turned in with his tyres just touching the waters. The final lap of the Grand Prix. A brilliant race. 
It's a sensational drive for Button. What a victory. And ben In sixth place, what an absolutely phenomenal drive by Michael Schumacher. He was helped by mistakes by the Renault team, but it's given him the victory that gives him the lead in the World Championship for the first time. This he finally puts to bed that China jinx. He's got victory here in Shanghai. The first of the three title deciders leaves us with Michael Schumacher and Alonso tied on points. Schumacher leads by virtue. Alonso was dominating Valencia Street He was up to 7th, 12th, and two brutally quick laps before his own pit stop while the leaders in front made theirs promoted him to a virtue of the lead when Vettel retired due to an alternator failure. The ovation was now almost definite. It was Alonso's 29th victory and one that took him back into the championship league. In the emotional side, uh, I think it's, 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 